be a few months away, but Christmas in July is right around the corner. And I wanted to share a holiday recipe with everyone at home that was inspired by Hallmark's latest book, A Christmas to Remember, which is based on the movie of the same name and stars our good friend Cameron Matheson, which you just saw. And the best part about these books, I don't know if you've read any of them, but it, they're great because they continue where the movie leaves off. So they take you up until the end of the movie, but then they go on. Oh, so you get to learn more. Oh, it's right. so cool. So you get to learn more about the characters. It's almost like a, a follow-up to oh, what you've yeah. seen. It's really great. And one of the recipes in this book that I'm sharing today is a delicious rosemary roast beef Ooh. with herb roasted root vegetables. Mm. That looks impressive, but I promise wow. you, you can start making it right now and you will have it on the table tonight and everyone will be yeah. so impressed with your work. It's so easy to do. So let's get started. You guys dig in. It's really delicious and it's perfect for the holidays, like I said. So what you want to do first is you want to take um, an oven safe pan, a, a cast iron skillet is what I really like to use. And you want to pop it in a preheated oven. You want the oven to be as high as it can go without it being broiling. So you really want it hot because you're going to want to take it out. And when you do take it out, by the way. Pan with nothing in it. Just pan with nothing in it. You just oh. really want it really hot. And it's oh. going to get hotter in the oven than it is on the stove oh, top. Yeah, I know that. Hmm. Make sure when you take it out of the oven, you're going to want to use this. <laughs> okay, so grab your oven mitt, put it on the stove top, and add some high heat oil to the skillet. So you're going to get it going. Then you're going to take your beautiful piece of roast beef and you're going to sear it on all sides. Oh, yeah. How long do so you sear it for? About five minutes on each side. You want to get this beautiful golden brown. To, to, to make that happen, you want to make sure that the pan is piping hot and that the, the oil in there is really oh, hot yeah. as well. That's how you're going to get that look. That when you say all sides, the ends, too. I always the get The ends as well. Yeah, people forget that. You're going to lift it up on Right. Uh, so, I mean, this has four sides. Some of them are round and they're longer, so you're going right. to have to roll them. But just make sure it's about five minutes on each side. Then you're going to want to combine some olive oil, some rosemary, salt and pepper and That's garlic. Good. And you're going to want to really liberally put this all all over the roast so because good. this is where it's going to get all this delicious flavor. Now, why why is rosemary? Isn't that the, nice? Is that like the go-to spice for the holidays? You see it in everything. Well, because rosemary is, well, first of all, it's very hearty. It's a lot heartier than the basil or the, the more leafy sort of um, herbs. And it's more woody. It's almost like a branch. You know what I mean? It holds uh. up all year round. And I don't know if you know anything about rosemary, but once it starts growing in your garden, you can't get rid of it, it does not stop. It doesn't stop. stop. Yeah. I have a which course is, that's about like yeah. right, wide which in is, my house. It's really great. So it's readily available to, to you yeah. know most people in the country at, at really even cold temperatures. Your rosemary is still there. So you can always find it. Hmm. It's not as finicky. Or if your as neighbor good. has it, you just walk over in the middle of the night. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, take okay. some cheers. and you can dry it right. now hey, for that's the holiday. What, that's what okay. I'm doing outside your window. <laughs> okay, so then you're going to take your massive piece of roast beef. Oh. Maybe open the oven first. <laughs> okay, so you're going to do that. <laughs> right. Whoa. Like, this is how I get my workout mm -hmm. for the day. And you're going to put this in the oven for, oh, don't do that yet. No drum roll, please, because it's coming out a little later. You're going to put that in for um, about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on the, the you know, how high your oven runs. Okay. But you're going to want to turn down the temperature to 350. All right. Now, how about these root vegetables that you These got? root vegetables, again, so simple yet so delicious, and they're really beautiful and colorful. So I've used um, just some red onions, some carrots, some different colored carrots, some potatoes, and some beets. You can add turnips, whatever sort of root vegetable you like. And then you just add some olive oil just mm -hmm. like this, dredge it with olive oil, a little bit of salt, mm. some They're pepper. Fantastic. Very simple, oh, I love that you love them. They're very seasoned. Even and you don't put that some much. thyme. It's really the thyme, I think, is what you're tasting. How much thyme? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> because how much thyme? It's mm -hmm. gonna take these about, about an hour. You wanna keep these in so, for okay, about an hour. So we're gonna put them on a roasting pan with, a piece of, with some parchment paper. Put this back in the oven, yes sir. And I have Why an answer hopefully. Why wouldn't you, or could you put that on the same pan do it all with your roast beef. You could or do it if you wanted to. too much grease coming from Well, the, the difference is, this is what I'm going to tell you. These only cook for an hour. That cooks for an hour and a half. So uh -huh. then your vegetables are going to uh, get really get mushy. Mm. So Got you it. really want to take that out a little earlier. So it gonna... is all about the time. Yeah, it is, it is all, all about, about the time. time. <laughs> so here you go. You pop this in. Now the drum roll. Thank you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And you pull this guy out. There you go. Again, what? so simple. Meanwhile, but how do you recommend plating this? You got it's all in a pan there. <laughs> it's all in a pan, but we've had our roast beef over Look there on this beautiful platter resting because it's done a lot of work in the oven. And then you just put it 
You take your beautiful vegetables. Where's mine? And root vegetables are really good for you. They're too. so good for you. And I don't get enough of them. Like, yeah. what, when do you usually eat them? I eat them yeah. all the time. I eat them oh, you do? All yeah. Because the they're so easy to make. They're so, but I think that's when the thing. When you get your cast iron pan, you start making right. them. <laughs> but, I, but Larissa, truly, I mean, I think you're not alone. I think people don't realize how easy it is to make some of these dishes that they see people on TV make or that they see at restaurants and they think, oh, I could never do that. But once you spell it out and show them just how easy it is, I mean, how easy was that? Yeah, no. that was amazing. So simple to make this. Yeah. And, it's and then good. you take this and you put it on the, um, well, you slice the roast beef. Is there any trick as, to slicing a roast beef? Is it like against the grain kind no, of thing? No, because the way that they, you buy it, like they, they'll wrap it for you so if you, you ask them. So you just slice right down. It really depends on the thickness or the thinness that you want. And you put that so in the center of a table and look oh. at that. I mean, That's how impressed right. would people be if they see that? Impressive. I'd be incredibly impressed. Right? Aren't you impressed mm -hmm. with me? I am I'm impressed. impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm totally impressed. Wow, Wait, you okay. You didn't it. like it at all. I hate <laughs> Hunk of meat. All right. Love. So for this delicious rosemary roast beef and herb roasted root vegetable recipe, be sure to purchase your own copy of A Christmas to Remember from Amazon.com today.